Competitive Smash is no stranger to broken characters. Whether it's Pikachu in 64, or Meta Knight in Brawl, or Bayonetta in Smash 4, we have seen our fair share of unfair, busted, stupid characters over the years. But Ultimate is currently being dominated by maybe the weirdest broken character a Smash game has ever seen. And the entire scene is in an uproar, asking the same question. Is Minecraft Steve ruining Smash? All right, folks, before we get into the video, I want to ask you to please sub to the channel and turn on notifications if you haven't done it yet. It really does help. And once you've done that, please head over to twitch.tv slash score esports and throw us a follow there. We are streaming all the time and you don't want to miss a stream. OK, so this past weekend, there were two really big Smash Ultimate tournaments. Unsurprisingly, MK Leo won the tournament he attended, Colossal in France. But everybody on Twitter was talking about what happened at Get On My Level in Toronto. Yeah, Big D has got to look out for a lot this game. Definitely could be over. Looking for the tr wait. Oh, okay. Oh, that might be GG's. Oh, oh my God! How? How did that work? It oh. is GG's though. Goodbye. Good night. And that's a Steve W in Gobble 2022. That was Onan, a 16-year-old Minecraft Steve player who's been on a bit of a hot streak. Over the last few months, he won Gommel, Cost, and Combo Breaker. The most unique thing about Onan is that he is a Minecraft Steve man. If you don't know Steve, he's the uh, protagonist of Minecraft, I guess. No! Oh, oh my god! Oh, they put Minecraft Steve in his game! Oh! <laughs> anyway, they put him into Smash in October 2020, and we did a whole video about it. Steve was a super weird, but also kind of exciting addition to Smash, though he didn't see much of a tournament presence until recently. See, usually a 16-year-old prodigy showing up and winning a tournament with a relatively unplayed character would get people excited, but that's not what's happening. Instead, Twitter and Reddit lit up with people making calls to ban Steve. And this isn't the first time it's happened. Between Onin's recent victories, the rise of 15-year-old Japanese Steve prodigy Akola, and other rising stars like Yoni and Jake, Steve has been popping up a lot in top eights recently. And somehow, that's already enough to have people seriously discussing banning him. In fact, some regions have already banned the character, and a decent part of the Smash community is worried that Steve is going to ruin Ultimate in a couple of years. Before I talk about whether or not that's actually going to happen, Happen, let's talk about what makes Steve so hated first. First is the fact that he is just a really strong character. Steve's whole gimmick is that he's basically playing Minecraft during a match. His specials let him mine for resources and then use those resources on his attacks or to build blocks or even to craft new weapons to make him stronger during a fight. This is pretty cool, but also uniquely frustrating at a competitive level. Steve players will regularly just throw up some blocks to create cover while they mine for resources. That forces the other player to stand there and do nothing, jump over them and put themselves at risk, or just slowly break the blocks. Blocks also make for a decent edge guarding tool and a way to uh, express your creativity. There is enough of a delay between that and the earthquake hitbox, which can shield poke you after the first hit. So, oh, is he alive? No, no. no sh oh, what he just it, fell there? What the? Let's just say it was probably like Big D's little brother. Yeah, all right, all right, Onan. Steve also has his incredible minecart side special, which is a movement option that propels Steve forward, a projectile once he leaps out of it, and on hit, it's a command grab that flings the opponent halfway across the stage. His down air anvil is an incredible out of shield punish and a good neutral tool. His TNT block is an all-in-one edge guarding move. His up air strings are ridiculous. His diamond tools let him kill at absurdly low percents. His up smash mega block is gigantic and one of the best anti-air options in the game, and his combos are, well, just look at this. What do you not need an iron sword for? Down throw. Jab, 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 jab. Basically, Steve has a very fully featured kit. Those are just a small handful of some of his moves, and they already represent a massive amount of capabilities. Imagine what he can do with his full kit. Steve is a super flexible character, and any two players could approach him completely differently, which is a part of why it took so long for Steve to pop off. He got put into Ultimate almost two years ago, and because all the tournaments were online and he was so complicated to play, we just didn't see big tournament wins from Steve until very recently. I think most people agree that a co Japan's current best player, put Steve on the map. 
He destroyed Japan's online tournaments during COVID, then won their offline tournaments, and then finally came over to the US recently to win the Invitational over some of North America's best talents. All oh, right, look at this. Even the platform too. Akola has the platform above him, the wall. Oh, wait, got some tricks, yeah, the up smash. It, What's up, bro? There it is, man, there it is. Akola is your Gimitational, maybe first annual, Gimitational champion. But now a wave of young Steve players are showing up and flipping the script on a character that some people thought was gimmicky and weird. Okay, Riddles, a whole stock down, losing that stock at a record time in that first one off of a missed input. And now, Onan's definitely been taking this, uh, you know, taking this one to the bank. Uh -oh. oh my God, even through the spot dodge in the back end of the minecart and it's over. Which in turn has led to lots and lots of people trying to get him banned over the last few months. And a few tournaments have actually already banned Steve. A small French tournament called Croco Cup and a small regional within Louisiana have both banned Steve, both in a bid to get a discussion going about the character. Now, plenty of cooler heads have stepped in to say that it's probably too soon to actually ban Steve from all tournaments. Like I said earlier, Smash has seen its fair share of broken characters. And while Bayonetta and Meta Knight, the most broken characters in their respective games, were banned by a few smaller tournaments, they never received community-wide blanket bans. And Steve is not dominating Ultimate to the level that those two dominated their games. And yet, the banning conversation keeps coming up. Because the problem isn't just that Steve is super strong, it's that he kind of fundamentally runs counter to the way that Smash fans want their game to work. I had a couple of really interesting conversations on Twitter yesterday with Smash fans about why people hate Steve. Shoutouts to LSW and Two Dads Kissing for sharing their thoughts, by the way. What I got from these conversations is that Steve runs contrary to the game in two major ways. One, he is the most mechanically unique character in the entire game. And even if his tools weren't super strong, losing to him feels bad because he's just really hard to prepare for. It's like a really lame knowledge check. On top of that, Steve's tools fundamentally slow the game down. Smash fans tend to like it when their games are fast with lots of decision points, but Steve's blocks basically act as a one-sided zoning tool. They force the other player to either carefully break them or put themselves at risk of getting up aired by his gigantic up smash or yeeted across the stage by his minecart. The other big reason people hate Steve is that a lot of smashers just don't think he fits in the game. I mean, just think back to the reactions to his announcement video. I don't f***ing believe it. I don't f***ing believe it. I'm gonna turn the stream off right now. I'm gonna turn this shit off. Steve isn't an iconic Nintendo character. He isn't a representative of some classic hardcore gaming franchise. He is a weird, blocky looking dude from a game that most Smash fans probably write off as Kitty shit. He doesn't fit in with the rest of the cast, both from an aesthetic and pedigree perspective. I think that putting Steve in Smash was actually really cool, but I think that if you don't feel that way, losing to him probably feels even worse. And I imagine most of the people calling for a Steve ban didn't even want him in the game in the first place. Personally, I think it's way too early to ban Steve. The results just aren't there yet. And honestly, I think he's probably a more interesting and difficult character to play than Meta Knight or Bayonetta were. Not to mention the fact that these Steve players have yet to go up against players like MKLeo, Tweak, and Meister. They've played against incredible players to be sure, but they've yet to go up against the absolute top echelon of ultimate talent. And I think we should reserve judgment until they do. Steve is now enemy number one in the ultimate community. It's possible that players come together and make counterplay for him and knock him out of the meta. It's also possible that he is legitimately broken, there is no counterplay, and we keep circling around this ban discussion. Either way, I think we can all agree that nobody thought the character that would tear the Smash community apart would be the guy from Minecraft. I just legitimately, I just, every time I come back to it, it's just like, really? It's Steve? This is the guy? The Minecraft guy? Yeah, that's exactly it. That's exactly it. It's like, oh, Pikachu can generate a million volts of electricity. Meta Knight is like an interdimensional Im immortal space warrior. Bayonetta is literally like Satan or something. Minecraft Steve is a guy. <laughs>